My name's Andrew Graham from IC Printing Limited. We've been manufacturing and printing for over 30 years and we've been making this urn for many years and I'm going to show you how it's made. This is the first stage of the whole process. It's a three-part mould, plaster of Paris mould. It's exactly how it was done hundreds of years ago and they're all hand cast with china slip clay. Lee, Lee's building the mould up now, the three-part mould. It'll be held together by a big rubber band. This stops the slip from escaping. Lee's now injecting slip into the mould. He has to do it very slowly so the air bubbles come to the top. And it takes a few minutes per one. This will be tipped and left for half an hour once empty to dry out so you can remove it from the mould. The Lee now is just opening the mould up. And he does it all very carefully. There will be a slight moulding mark all the way around the edge. That will be removed with fettling and sponging. So we've had the first stage, then the second stage, which is all sponge, fettled, dried and cleaned. It'll go in the kiln at 1205 degrees centigrade, which comes out in a biscuit format, which is the same as this, but just in biscuit, but which has a 20% shrinkage, because the clay shrinks in the firing at that temperature. Then we go to a bucket of glaze, and it's dipped in a bucket of glaze, shaken, dried and fired again at about 10, 80 degrees centigrade and you, it comes out the finished piece all nice and glazed. It's got like a film of glass all over it. This is the first stage of hand painting. Um, this is done the same way 200 years ago. It's mainly to get a covering over the whole pot and leaves you know, hardly any white on it. So we, we cover all the very tight areas first. And all we're doing now is building a base up so I can smoothly feather it off. And what happens as the colour's drying, it allows you to build a base up as well on it give something to adhere to. So we just leave that part now because we've safely near enough covered it. Then we stick it on the wheel and go around the base to get the um, right shape of the urn at the bottom. So it's first coating of paint and it's going in for its first firing of three. So just pop her in there and we'll see her in seven hours time. We're just going to open up now after it's firing and everything should be fine. Yes it is. So that's had its first firing, and now it's ready for its second coating of paint. It's back out of the kiln after its second firing of the red. Now it's time to decorate it with a silk screen transfer. Uh, we put the silk screen transfer on there. Just put a little bit of pressure on, position it, then we get a, a cloth and we just rub it down. Make sure there's no air bubbles on it. And this will have to be left for half an hour to dry. And we just put the back stamp, same thing again, make sure she's in line on the bottom. And just rub her down. Now she's ready in half an hour to have the base painted. This is the last application and that's doing the base 
uh, to make it look like a wooden base. So you carefully trim round the top on the wheel. Same as the dark red colour, you have to build it up to cover the white. But with this one, it only needs one firing. So we, we just cover it as much as we can. With this brush being so soft, it just splays around, it's, it's a good brush. And just carefully do the bottom. Turn in the brush because you get a bit more colour on the other side. So this is the final firing now, it's going in for the last time. So this will be the last stage for the inn. This is where we started from, on the decorating process. And, uh, and this is what we finished, finished up with, a finished product. It takes about a week from this item to the finished item. So all that's left to do is to pop it in its box, ready to go on sale.